Hello guys, this is continuations of keyword driven framework and in this video I will talk about the keywords which we need to design uh, to the framework right because when we say keyword driven framework everything is every script is written in terms of keywords right I will show you what I'm trying to do that so that uh, you'll have a better understanding of what does keyword means so if you look at this test suite one okay here these keywords are very very important navigate click on link input text click on link wait for these are the keywords actually these keywords are nothing but methods which for that we need to write the implementations in our keyword driven framework the description is just for importing purpose like what you want to report in the html but these keywords are actually actions when i say navigate which means you need to navigate to some site when I say click on sign in, so you need to click on some link. When I say enter email address, basically you have an input text. So these keywords we have to design in such a way that whoever works on these frameworks, they will be able to use these keywords. And when you have the keywords, when you have basically action, you need to perform actions on the web element because in Selenium, where we perform the actions on the web element. So these are the web elements this web element is nothing but as i said in my previous uh, video these are nothing but properties file name okay so since this is a login script as you can uh, see that uh, sign in enter email address password click on create an account and all that so this is the login script so when you are writing a web element you write the page name login dot login dot so page name dot object name page name dot web element name page name dot web element name, which is very very important this two basically is nothing but your framework in keyword driven framework this two is very very important one is keyword one is web element now here just you have a name keyword and web element the entire logic you have to write so when you are running a script so when you are running this excel sheet through keyword driven framework it will go it will read navigate keyword now it will read a navigate keyword then it will look for the web element Again, this is just a string name. This is a key name. So for the web element, for every key there is a value. Okay, for every key there is a value. So when I say sign in, it has a data. When I say login dot already registered email address, it has a data. When I say submit button, it has a data. So now we need to understand how this web element and keyword are interrelated. Okay, which we'll understand in the keywords class. So if you look at this keyword class, which I have created a package called keywords inside the keywords, we have a keywords.java class, which extends the test base as I shown you the test base. Why I'm extending that so that I will acquire all the properties, all the methods of the test base. Okay. First method is very important uh, in the test, uh, in the keywords, get web element. So before this first method, we will focus on get locator method which is more important this method first will uh, focus on the keywords see what will happen this get uh, locator methods when you call this get locator methods it will take a string locator as an argument okay it will take a string locator as an argument and whatever locator you have it will split by colon so why i am splitting by colon because if you look at the properties file I'll be writing the properties file like this login page name dot sign in and then xpath colon so this is the xpath here I am giving the identifications to this object again here you have a xpath right so xpath colon if you have id you write id colon if you have a css you write css colon if you have name you write name colon which is very important why important I will tell you then this is the page name object name page name object name like login dot submit button login dot create an account login dot sign out login dot sign in these are the objects and these are the corresponding locators these are all i'm using as xpath so i have written xpath colon and this is the data of the xpath so i believe here you know how to write the xpath css id and name and all that here i'm not going to spend time on that if you have a doubt please watch my locator videos so when you have this all xpath and since you have value is called value is like this right so in when you are calling this method basically you are supplying the values the values is nothing but this value this value you are trying to supply this value 
So I need to split your data into two part. One is the first part, which is nothing but either X path ID name or CSS and the value. So first one is locator type and second one is equal to locator value. Why I'm doing that now you'll understand. If my locator type, if my locator type is equals to ID, then I will return driver dot find element by dot ID and what is my value. So second part is my locator value. Okay. So what I'm trying to say that is, let me write one more here. If somebody writes here, uh, login dot, let's say, email button. Okay. And somebody write here ID. And here the ID is going to be, let's say test 456. This is the ID, right? So I will read this. If it is ID, I will split and I will go to the ID call. If it is equals to ID, then I will do driver.findElement by.id and this is a return. So return. So when you say driver.findElement, what will get a return type? You will get a web element. That is the reason this method has a return type of web element because this driver.findElement will return the web element. What I'm trying to say that here is, look at this. I will explain you so that you will have you will not have any doubt make the object like this and just say test okay place mouse over here click on create local what is the return type it's a web element that's what i was trying to say that the return type is a web element let me remove this so again if it is a name find by name return that okay if it is a class name or class it's you know somebody will write class name here somebody will write here class name or somebody will write a class so both you need to handle in your framework if or so if you look at here i'm giving that or so if any one matches return the class one second let me just control shift r Sorry, sorry, sorry. I did mistake. Uh, select again. Okay, cool. It came in the single line. So select two control A and then you do control shift F. Okay, the line will get rearranged. Don't do that if it is not required. If it is a class name or class, anything, do by class name, right? If it is a tag name or tag, because someone may write here tag name, someone may write tag colon or tag name colon. If this is the case, do here, instead of by class name, here you have to do by dot tag name, okay? Very important guys. If it is a link test or link, do by link test. If it is a partial link test, text, you do by partial link text. If it is a CSS selector or CSS, return the object by CSS. If it is X path, return X path. Else you show that, say that unknown locator type. So this method is very important. This will give you the web element based on your data which you are supplying it. Okay. Similarly, this is for get locators. This is for get locators like find elements as you know, right? Same thing Instead of your Instead of find elements uh, element you have find elements So here you will get list of wave element as you know that find elements return type is nothing but list of wave elements So again split the locator here. It will come as two part one is the locator type if you look at the locator type, let's say it is ID and value is equal to this. Locator type is equal to X path, value is equal to this. Read this. And again, let me do the same thing here. Control A, Control Shift F. Okay. So again here, by ID, do find elements here. Again, by name and all that, do find elements. If it is a CSS, uh, class name, do by class name. So instead of here, instead of here, find elements, find element, you are doing that find elements. So here the return type is going to be 
list of wave element these two methods is very important one is get locators and one is get locator so these two method basically will give you the wave element for that given data okay now come back here there is another wrapper method which we have written get wave element so whatever locator you will supply so i say uh, if you look at here i just say login dot sign in login dot sign in what is that login dot sign in which is this key which is this key so i need to read the value for this key right i need to read the value for this key go back so i'm calling that get locator methods instead of that i will call this i'll make it here okay so that you will not have any doubt see the keyword value okay and this is this is going to be your string okay this is the keyword value and whatever value will come you will supply to the get locator okay so a repository dot get property which i have shown you and i was talking about the test base so here it will give you the value that value you are supplying here get locator so it will call which method this method and based on that it will give you the driver wave element it will give you the wave element whether it is x path cases and name right so this one method is very important which will actually internally it will give you wave element so this guy is making two call one is getting value from the repository and since i am extending test base here so i have this repository object available here okay and i am calling get properties locator so i'll get the late uh, data similarly now when you have navigate you are trying to navigate somewhere so you need to have just you need to, what you need to have you need to have the url so you need to navigate to this site particular site so what you will write you will just write driver dot get and return pass because in navigations you will never get fail so you need, just need to write a return pass okay and return pass in the double quote i am returning a string why i am returning this will help me to generate the HTML report, which will come to know once I start with the writing the test script. Again here, select radio button. Here, I'm writing the code into the try catch. So in, when it will go to the catch, I will return failed. This keyword is very important for me. So you also please write failed. And then if there is no failure, it will return double quote pass, which is nothing but again a string. Because this failed and pass is important to me to generate the report. So again, select radio button. I need to select the radio button. So what radio button? Internally, I need to make a call to get a wave element. So I'll make a call here. Get wave element uh, on the wave element. So whatever wave element I will supply on that, I need to make a call. Okay. And then click. So from where this wave element will come? So wave element where we have? we have in the test base so if you go in the test base here what we have wave element right and this wave element i will initialize on the runtime so this initializations will happen on the runtime so that this wave element always will have some data okay what data this data this data which i will tell you in the script design like from where the wave element will acquire the data this data so that on that data it will make a method called get, get wave element this this guy internally makes a call to a repository it will get the value from the properties file and then internally it makes a call to the locator so finally what you will get you will get a wave element because the get locator return type is nothing but wave element okay so once you got the wave element you do dot click similarly for input text okay you get the wave element a wave element on which you need to do send keys you do a send keys so when you do a send keys you need to send the test data right you need to send some data so once it is successful return pass or fail again from where this test data, test data will come i'll tell you once we'll start with the script just these keywords we need to design okay and you should design like this in the try catch block in catch please write failed keyword which is important for me again click on link so when you do click on the link you make a method called get wave element so the first method call which i have told you so once you make a get wave element the return type is a wave element do dot click 
if everything goes fine return pass if it will go in the catch return field similarly for verified text so for verified text get the text from the web element okay and this web element will get in sliced on the runtime which we'll see when we'll run the code and the actual text so this is the actual text and what it equals equals to the test data again the test data will get in sliced on the runtime because these all variables if you look at the test data uh, this web elements you have in the test base see here web element you have it here test data you will have it here so this both will get in sliced on the runtime so whenever you will make a call to this uh, this these variables these variables will have a data okay which will come on the runtime when your script will run so equal to test data not equal to actually failed right this is one conditions when not equal to failed or if it will go to catch conditions because of this it can go to the catch so go to the catch say failed or you say pass okay uh, similarly the get locators method i have explained you get locators also i have explained you and this is called another method called get uh, web elements so like this web element which will give you only web element similarly for the second method this get locators i have designed something called get web elements so basically this will give you the list of data internally it does the same thing but since this guy has a find elements so if you we'll go to inside get locators this guy has a find elements so this will give you list of web element because you'll get multiple web matching web elements right so with this we are almost done with the keywords which is good to start with the framework now something we'll have a explicit weight so this explicit weight uh, as you know that in in case of selenium you want to wait for particular uh, web element you can go for the explicit weight so i am just making the object of web driver weight new web driver as of now i am hard coding 60 seconds here actually this i will control through some uh, common location so that if tomorrow any change will happen to the framework it will get reflected and uh, I'm using that wait dot until visibility of wave element. If this is the done, you say it as a pass. Okay, so this again, I will make I will make much more generic. But with this, we are done with the keywords. I I think at least we can start with the framework. Now in next video, I will start with the test controller design, like how the test controller will control your test case execution, which we'll see guys in the next video. Thank you guys. Thank you for watching this. Hope this video will help you to know the keyword driven framework. If yes, please hit like button and subscribe my YouTube channel.